What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be discussing the stuff that's going on now within the Juice community between Max Lord, Chase, Grade A, all of this stuff. But before we do start, I do just want to give a shout out to all channel members. Thank you guys for supporting me and the channel and we're going to get started with everything that's been going on. So basically Max Lord's Twitter got hacked a while ago and he made a new one. This is the ad if you want to go look at it and follow. But with that being said, Max Lord went on a thread to tweet out basically just a bunch of claims against grade A and what he claims against Chase, all of these different things. We obviously already have what Max Lord said in a thread and we also have a response from Pete. Before the video does start though, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not trying to be biased. I'm not taking sides. We don't have enough information to do that yet. All this video is here to do is just to provide you with the information that we do have so you can make your own opinions, whether you want to wait and see what's going to happen or if you already have your mind made up. I don't care who's side you're on i'm not on any sides i'm literally just here to report what's going on all right so i'm gonna do this part of the video with a face cam just because this is gonna be really hard to edit because of how long a lot of these threads are but, but basically max lord tweeted out needed to respond to some defaming tweets and address my support for ali we love you juice and something needs to change and then basically max lord goes on to say so where did you get this very detailed and private information from chase couldn't be from a hack as these were phone conversations two plus years ago i'm posting here as i still haven't gotten my twitter account recovered disclaimer i do not believe bibby to be involved in this matter i've never wanted to have to speak like this but it is getting out of hand I do want to state real quick before we keep going it looks like a lot of this is going to be max lord calling out chase i don't have any kind of problem with chase i think we all know that he works with grade a he's literally told me that i know he's told tons of people i think there's even pictures of that going around now i know it's confirmed it's literally been a thing we know what chase has kind of done and he's very open with it i think he doesn't try to cover that or hide it at all i think he's very upfront with what he's done so just keep that in mind if you don't know who chase is either pretty sure he helped create or did create the very first juice hub server that there was or he held some of the first group buys just for a little bit of backstory or context but going back into this he says that chase masta is working directly with grade a which again we already knew now max goes on to claim that chase is working with g money and pete to cause distrust and chaos in the juice community he is randomly speaking on things that are verbatim out of their mouths on private phone calls between us these are things only g money and pete have ever said and could ever relay to anybody else they called me in march of 2020 threatening me to give them my recording equipment demanding i come set it up at their house and leave it there wasn't even very much gear at the time i'm sure they can afford the 8k worth of my equipment much of which i built and modded myself because i actually know what it even is it seems that they are trying to smear my name in relation to juice to get me out of their way a few other things they mentioned were illegal firearms that they asked me to get rid of and then changed course and decided they wanted them then they raided our house juice ali sean and my own legal residence only looking to take juice's remaining jewelry and watches i left that house as soon as i heard the news of juice's death out of fear for my safety from them the advice of my attorney i left behind what belonged to juice which would end up in their possession this is some pretty big stuff at least it seems like what max lord is stating he's basically just calling out for one what chase tweeted out about how max lord took all of juice's equipment when juice passed away it looks like max lord is just trying to clear up why he did that and what happened at least from what i'm hearing it sounds like the studio equipment was max lords that's what it sounds like to me if i'm wrong definitely let me know in the comments down below but as it goes on recorded mixed and produced every song on lnds talking about with exception of wishing well and stay high i spent months in the summer of 2020 putting the album together for them mixing facilitating talks with producers lawyers mastering preparing some sessions and playing two all-nighters the two nights before the album dropped mixing new additions and making changes for them what i've said about gun and blood on my jeans was the truth the album was not mastered nor turned in and was didn't even have a complete track list at the time funny said he didn't like gunna and that he treated juice funny a last ditch excuse which is not how their relationship was in the slightest what this chase character posted is the equivalent of propaganda by them and defamation so it looks like how max lord's taking everything is defamation but you have to keep in mind that there's two sides to every story 
But going down further through the thread, it says that Chase Masta is a pawn that they let come hang out for a couple weeks to help disrupt the Juice community to ensure every time you listen to Juice World, they get paid. They want me to get out of their way discredited so they can continue to have their way. These open threats of violence against me from grade A posted on Chase's Twitter, this stuff is absurd. They're openly threatening to kill me. They've stolen firearms from me. They've threatened me with them. We've gotten in physical altercations because Juice didn't like beats G Money tried to have him record on the day before he passed. That way he would profit from. With Ali coming about these sorts of things, I owe it to her and Jared to back her up and to speak on this. I do everything in my power to fight for Juice, for his music and legacy to be what he would want and not trampled over by greed and corruption. Long live Juice World and then obviously signed at max all right so i know i was saying throughout the video that we didn't have any word from chase yet but he's actually posted a statement while i was editing this saying that all the information i got was from hacking i hate to say it but it's true this is how i've almost always gotten my information i don't seem to understand why that changed i've known so much for so long way before ever publicly mentioning it i don't go around hacking much anymore but i've seen a lot of information over the years tweets against him are nothing new i don't like him you can scroll to my older tweets with other accusations max lord is mad at me for exposing him and calling him out consistently he is only coming for me because i'm against group buys and private buys which means the songs that he sold aren't selling he has never publicly addressed him selling leaks but he was quick to address the other issues i don't have any direct connection to grade a i don't work for them i've been doing my own thing online and plan to continue to do so while i might troll on discord as i often do this is now a serious matter that needed to be addressed publicly last night was also the first night i had ever met pete and several other people part of their team so the narrative that i work for anyone but myself is funny as stated before you guys will see my projects in the coming weeks and months now that you guys have heard Max Lord's side, what Pete goes on to tweet out is that he had never met Chase before yesterday. So he goes on to call Max Lord a capper. So from what we have so far, we haven't had an official statement from Chase. If we do get one, I will make an updated video or I'll put it in the next video. But at the time I'm making this, we haven't heard anything from him specifically just yet. But Pete is claiming that he just met Chase yesterday. So everything Max Lord is saying is cap. Chase wasn't put in here or into the community to cause distrust or to ruin anything or to defame Max Lord, that's what the label is claiming. So at the end of the day, it's going to come down to what you kind of think about both sides of this situation. We know that Max Lord came out in support of Ali and obviously everything that's going on. We've seen a couple statements from Pete and Bibby as well. Bibby actually tweeted out a couple things earlier that kind of relate to everything that's going on. The first tweet that Bibby put out has since been deleted by him, but in the tweet, he goes on to quote and say, One of our biggest problems is seeing someone we know doing well. Because for most people, they feel they're just as deserving and capable. In most cases, it turns out into jealousy and envy. Stop letting the devil make you believe that's okay. Because it's not. Go get it like they did. So obviously, Bibby deleted that tweet. But he ended up responding to a couple users on Twitter. And the first response said, He was the GOAT, Bibby. You were fortunate enough to be given the power to continue his legacy. And we hope you continue to do it by giving us new music soon. Because we're starving. Bibby goes on to respond to this by saying, People say we don't put out enough music. But then they say we do it for money. And then after this, shout out to Sovio for saying the issue isn't the frequency of music, baby. Don't listen to those idiots. Two albums in two years is enough. The thing is, we want to see Juice's projects released sometime. Outsiders, Young Thug collab tape, etc. Or at least some hype music from 2019. Not the same sad songs. Bibi responded to this by saying, I will try my best, but I am only human and I have feelings. This is not an easy job. People making crazy allegations and saying hurtful things. I want to put music out because I know that's what Juice wanted and I know that's what the fans want, but I sometimes want to quit, which this is definitely very true. I definitely see what Bibi's talking about by people saying that they're only releasing music for cash grabs. This isn't even just a grade A thing. Anytime an artist passes away, this is a complaint or something that labels get criticized for releasing music. And you can look at that however you want, but based on what Bibi says in this tweet alone, the fact that he wants to put music out and he knows Juice would want the music to be out and he knows that the fans want the music out that's definitely just something that has to be done because we're all here because of juice we all just want juice music at the end of the day and it is really sad to see all of these things start to come up and whether you take a side or not it still just sucks that 
all this drama is stemming from the fact that we all just want juice music. But with all this being said, this is everything for this video, guys. Like I said, if Chase puts out a response, I will definitely get that into a future video. That's going to be all for this one. I know it's another long one about another very serious topic and everything. Hopefully, we'll start getting kind of calmed down and just getting some better news. But with all this being said, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.